Strange Discoveries in the Amazon Jungle Most people in the world are afraid of dangerous jungle environments, especially the mysterious and gigantic Amazon jungle. Many people live in and around the Amazon, and this is why strange discoveries from that part of the world pop up very often. Even though unique snakes are a staple in this part of the world, there are many other insects, mammals, and even insects that you can't see anywhere else. Giant Green Anaconda If anything in this world is certain, it is that there are massive snakes in the Amazon, but I could have never imagined that they grow up to this size. The slithering animal is massive, gorgeous, and terrifying at the same time. Next to the people, it could be more than 100 feet long and at least 4,500 pounds in weight. I've heard stories and rumors about a giant snake living in the heart of the jungle, but I thought it was just a rumor. How do these people even manage to capture it without any equipment? They must be experts. Anyways, news of this remarkable find quickly spread across the internet. Some are inclined to trust the legendary stories that are passed down through generations, while others say that they saw bigger snakes and that this is nothing special. Webbed Dinner Tarantula spiders aren't very unusual, but this is uncommon footage of a massive one and what it can accomplish. A team of biologists from the University of Michigan discovered this giant tarantula carrying a baby opossum away to its death. The massive spider, estimated to be the size of her dinner plate, not including the legs, can be seen perched on top of the baby mouse opossum, which is approximately the size of a softball. With specialized body parts, modified jaws, massive fangs, and venom, spiders are incredibly diversified predators. They are observed eating species from all major vertebrate groups. But this is a rare moment, a spider has been seen preying on this little marsupial. It's almost unbelievable to know that this eight-legged aragog-like creature is lurking in the Amazon. An eight-mile-long canvas of Ice Age beasts. Images of giant sloths, mastodons, and other extinct animals have been discovered in the Amazon. These images might cover nearly eight miles of rock above three caves in Colombia. An archaeologist at the University of Exeter, Mark Robinson, and some Colombian scientists conducted thorough research on the rocks. They found out that these fantastic drawings were made by the first people to live in western Amazonia. It is more like documentation of how they looked during their existence in the Ice Ages. People who lived in a nearby archaeological site called Serrana La Lindosa may have started painting around 12,600 to 11,800 years ago. The researchers claim that there's already a lot of Ice Age animal rock art in central Brazil. However, the new findings are more detailed and give a better idea of what these now extinct animals look like. Decoy Spider while much of the animals in the Amazon have been documented, there are still several strange ones out there. This guy, for example, was discovered on the Peruvian side of the Amazon in 2012. The spider looks dead and dried out from afar, but when you step in closer, things get weird. You see, the spider isn't dead. It's just covered with tiny bits of leaf, debris, and dead insects. When this strange little guy isn't building his web or eating insects, it's taking leftover insect bits and other debris to create a rough, convincing-looking spider decoy. No one knows why. Maybe it uses it to chase away predators. Or it's part of a spider cult that enjoys building tributes to some spider god. The last part is highly unlikely, but then again, this is the Amazon. And here, anything is possible. Matamata Mata Turtle No other turtle has the strange and unique appearance of the Matamata. Mata. It is a freshwater turtle native to the Amazon basin. This prehistoric species resembles a cross between a crocodile, a turtle, and a leaf. The rough carapace is brown or black with serrated edges and a tiny plastron. The flattened triangular head has a stunningly large mouth, little eyes, and a long tubular nose, numerous tubercles, and fleshy flaps. Its head is more extensive than its body and can protrude pretty far. Mata Mata saunter across riverbeds, moderate streams, channels, marshes, and swamps. Because of their superb camouflage's foliage, unwary prey swims right by them without a second thought. Mata Matas feed by sucking up fish into their mouths. It's said that unattractive ladies are frequently referred to as Mata Matas by the locals in that area. Stonehenge 2.0 this next discovery is hard to believe, because even the one it was named after is still being debated by scientists today. Stonehenge has become an iconic site famous worldwide, and every year thousands of people flock to see the wonder that has baffled scientists for years. For years, everyone thought the structure only existed in England, but in 2016, Brazilian native Lalson Camelo da Silva discovered a second Stonehenge buried deep in the Amazon. 
The cattle ranch foreman was raising trees to convert rainforests into pasture. In 2016, when he stumbled across a bizarre arrangement of towering granite rocks, when scientists arrived, they uncovered hundreds of shapes on the ground, about 450 of them, matching earthworks similar to Stonehenge's design. After investigating, they determined that an indigenous culture arranged the megaliths into an astronomical observatory about a thousand years ago. Just like the original Stonehenge, researchers don't know what the designs mean and what purpose they served. Jeweled Caterpillar Scientists estimate that the Amazon basin is home to approximately 2.5 million insect species, just one acre rainforest containing up to 70,000 different insect species. Many of the Amazon's strange and fascinating bug species resemble creatures from the most fantastic science fiction film. The jewel caterpillar appears to be a delicious gummy sweet from Ecuador's Amazon rainforest. This brightly colored creature is rarely seen since it's so small and fast for a caterpillar. Its beautiful glass-like colors conceal that it's actually highly sticky with protective spikes that provide predator defense. It's not poisonous like most other caterpillars. Still, the future moth flees when assaulted while the ant or wasp is coping with a mouthful of sticky muck. A boiling river. Andres Russo, a Peruvian geoscientist, heard about it from his grandfather. He decided to carry out research on the boiling river called Chenay Tempishka, meaning boiled with the heat of the sun. In 2011, Rousseau took a trip down the Amazon in the company of his aunt to discover the boiling river. A thermometer showed that the temperature of the water at the time was 187 degrees Fahrenheit. This indicates that touching it will only take a few seconds to inflict a third degree burn. The boiling river is 82 feet wide and 19.6 feet deep, and it runs for 3.8 miles. This level of heat in the water comes from hot water inside the earth, which travels through cracks and gathers up to form a river. It's strange because the river starts out as a cool stream. It heats up, then cools down a little bit at night. According to locals, the Boiling River is a powerful place in the supernatural world. Although researchers say it has something to do with science, which do you think it is? Yaganate's Treasure Imagine if you're making a way through a thick forest, climbing through hilly terrains and running caves. Suddenly, you discover a lost city that holds several thousand-year-old treasures. You'd probably expect the director to yell cut because this stuff only happens in fantasy movies, right? Wrong. It happens in real life, too. You just have to travel down the Amazon. Within the Ecuadorian stretch of the rainforest, researchers came across a gigantic structure containing a pile of gold and treasures. The story goes that when Spanish conquistadores captured the Inca king, Atahualpa, he offered them gold for his freedom. However, he was killed before his general could carry the treasures through the forest. After hearing the news of his death, General Rumiña Wi ordered his men to bury the gold in the Yaganates uninhabited land, where it remains to this day. Several bounty hunters have tried to find the hidden treasure and failed at it for years, but recently the government has pinpointed the location. They hope to bring out the treasure and turn the area into a tourism spot, but first they have to deal with the booby traps and poisonous snakes which fill the area. Lanternfly Don't be fooled by the name. This funny looking bug looks more like a moth than a fly. Its giant peanut shaped head doesn't light up. The lanternfly is a member of the Fulgaridae family, and it's unknown why it has such a strange bulbous head. Some entomologists believe it is to deter predators by resembling the head of a lizard or a snake. If that fails, the lanternfly can expand its wings, revealing two enormous circular patterns that resemble the eyes of a jaguar or ocelot. If everything else fails, the lanternfly might resort to more direct measures, such as squirting a foul-smelling substance into its attacker's face. There's also a widespread belief in some communities that if the bug bites someone, which it doesn't, they'll die if they don't have sex within a day. Hmm, makes one wonder just how many Amazonian young men have attempted using that line. Ancient Tribes The Amazon forest is home to many living things and their various species. What we sometimes forget is that humans are living there as well. About 400 ancient tribes have their settlements in the Amazon rainforest dating back thousands of years ago. The land is green and laced with fresh water to ease their survival. There are a lot of different kinds of wild foods and animals that they can eat. Everything they need to survive is right there in the rainforest. Like their ancestors, they care for the forest by not causing any harm to it. No wonder they hardly care about civilization or the modern world. Most of these indigenous tribes were wiped out during the era of colonization. Because of this, some tribes choose to stay reclusive. Titi Monkey 
This monkey was first discovered in 2010 in the southern Brazilian Amazon. It remained unclassified for three additional expeditions and a scholarly article before formally designated as Milton's TT monkey. The species is named after Milton Tiago de Mayo, a scientist whose work contributed significantly to the development of Brazilian primatology. The TT monkey stands out with its bright orange tail, but it's pretty difficult to detect in the treetops. Rather than that, it is easy to locate it by its morning vocalizations. The fire-tailed TT monkey makes a concerted effort to maintain a safe distance from neighboring groups while establishing its territory. It is found in Brazil's protected areas and indigenous lands. The Strange Visitors We found this viral video clip on the internet of some pictures taken by two British tourists while they were visiting the Amazon rainforest. Later that day, they thought it wise to recall memories when they found something shocking. It was a fantastic shot of some local children standing in front of the woods. But this is not about the children, but rather what was behind them in plain sight. They spotted a ghostly looking creature that looked like an alien standing close by the trees. That's not all. There was a glimpse of something that looked like a light shining right next to it. This paranormal experience was quite shocking as it was the last thing they expected to find in the Amazon rainforest. Walking Trees if you've ever seen the Lord of the Rings movies, you'll know the legendary tree beard and the walking trees of the magical forest. What if I told you that trees are walking around the Amazon right now too? Well, not exactly. These trees walk, but not anything close to the ones in J.R.R. Tolkien's epic. Still, these trees are pretty impressive. They are called walking palms or kashapona, and instead of waiting for the sun to reach them, they move toward the sun. Why? Well, if you're a tree in Amazon, where you have to compete with thousands of other trees for resources, you take matters into your own hands too. The walking palm has developed a unique method for ensuring it enjoys a competitive advantage in the struggle for life in the rainforest. The trunk of this slender, 80 feet high palm tree walks over one inch every day, replacing old worn roots as they go. They were discovered in 2015 when researchers caught them moving across the forest. The entire process can take a couple of years and it's usually not noticeable to the naked eye. But you can catch it with some determination in a camera. Prehistoric Peru Monkey Tooth A tooth belonging to the tiniest fossilized monkey ever was just uncovered in the Amazon rainforest. The 18 million year old prehistoric creature was about the size of a hamster. This new monkey species may address a knowledge vacuum about monkey evolution, which invariably includes our own. The find is a single upper molar fossilized tooth, double the size of a pinhead, dug from an exposed riverbed. But even one tooth might reveal a lot. Remember that monkeys likely came to South America 40 million years ago from Africa to understand how important this find is. They developed into approximately 150 species, most of which live in the Amazon. But no one knows how that happened. The fossil record was missing between 13 and 31 million years ago. This new monkey fills that void perfectly. However, more research is required to reveal the origins of South American monkeys. The Basilisk Lizard In the iguana family, green basilisks are about 2 feet long with their long whip-like tail. Green basilisks are omnivores, which means they eat plants and small animals like insects. The species is nicknamed the Jesus Christ Lizard because it was seen doing what no other lizard could. It could run or walk on water. Now that's incredible! Their rear feet have long toes with fringes of skin that spread out in the water, giving them more surface area. While moving their legs, they slap their splayed feet hard against the water, making a small air pocket that keeps them from sinking as long as they're on the move. They spend most of their time in the trees and are never far from a body of water. They hunt by jumping from a tree into the water and running across the surface at 5 feet per second. Although the water walking skills can only move it along the surface for at least 15 feet or more. Pink Dolphins It's not just plants that have evolved in the Amazon. This place is so unique that animals too are getting in on the action. In 2013, a team from the Federal University of Amazonas discovered a new species of pink river dolphin in the Amazon's Aragaya River. River dolphins are extremely rare, but a pink river dolphin, that's on a whole different level. They are called Boto pink dolphins, and they live only in the Amazon. A giant among the dolphin family, the Boto dolphin can measure up to 8 feet long and weigh over 400 pounds. Although born gray, these guys turn pink as soon as they enter adulthood. Although researchers have tried to study the strange creatures to see where they get their pink hue from, they've not been able to come up with anything. 
One theory suggests that it may be because of aggressive fights between dolphins, while another suggests that the dolphin evolved to blend into their surroundings. Whatever the case is, you have to admit, nothing says cute better than a pink dolphin. Capybaras. If giant tarantulas and terrifying turtles aren't enough to give you nightmares, then will giant rodents? Capybaras are the king-sized counterparts of the furry pests you wouldn't find in a mousetrap. Though they look rather adorable, and many people keep them as pets, they are the world's largest living rodent. They have a solid resemblance to guinea pigs, don't have tails, and have partially webbed feet, which makes sense because they do like to live in the water. This helps with their dry skin that needs moisture constantly. Capybaras are highly gregarious species, and they can be seen in large groups of up to 100 individuals. Even though they are startling animals to come across in nature, you'll not be in any danger because they're more terrified of you than you are of them. Strange Geoglyphs Dense with trees that always make the forest look dark, even when the sun is out, there are many things hidden under the vegetation of the Amazon. Satellite images taken by archaeologists have revealed more than 200 massive geometric earthworks. Take a look at how big they are. These geoglyphs and strange earthworks were carved into the upper Amazon near the Brazil border with Bolivia. These discoveries suggest that the now sparsely populated area was the home to up to 1 million people before Columbus came. They are pretty different from the small Amazonian societies that anthropologists studied in the 20th century. These geoglyphs cover about 5,000 square miles of the rainforest. A massive reef. In 2016, scientists, oil companies, and the Brazilian government were greeted by a rude shock when they explored the muddy waters of the river Amazon. They were marking the area for oil exploration when they noticed a vast coral reef system sitting in the heart of the Amazon. The existence of the extended 3,600-square-mile coral reef system, which stretches from French Guiana to Brazil's Maranajo State, shocked scientists because they thought the Amazon would be too harsh to find any corals. Corals mostly thrive in clear, sunlit water, and the waters of the Amazon are some of the muddiest. But that doesn't seem to affect this growing community of reefs. Scientists found over 60 sponge species, 73 species of fish, spiny lobster, stars, and much other reef life thriving there. Hybrid Birds A group of hybrid birds has been discovered by scientists in the Amazon rainforest. The birds are known as golden crown mannequins because of the yellow crown atop their green bodies. They are the first known avian species to have risen from the hybrid offspring of two different living species and then evolved into their own unique creature. For hybridization to occur, the two parent species must be closely related. Independent species that are too genetically diverse from each other may be unable to generate fertile offspring if they mate. Before this discovery, hybridization had never been observed in birds before. The parent species of the golden crown mannequins, snow-capped and opal crown mannequins diverged only 300,000 years ago from their common ancestors. Around 180,000 years ago, they mated and formed a population of hybrids, eventually evolving into a different color crown. Picket Fence We have something that didn't take scientists years to discover, but even after they found it, scientists had no idea what it was. In 2013, Troy Alexander, a graduate student at Georgia Tech, was visiting the Peruvian side of the Amazon when he discovered a mysterious picket fence structure. Several researchers studied the structure, dubbed Silk Hinge, for months by several researchers who poured out their notes, trying to explain it without success. The tiny silk structures were scattered throughout the rainforest and looked like they were built by something or someone. Yet researchers couldn't figure out what type of animal was building it. It remained a mystery for months until one day, photographer Jeff Kramer, filming a documentary on the strange structure, noticed a tiny orange spider hatched from an egg next to them. The spider looked like a regular jumping spider, but it's a new species that had never been documented. Since then, scientists have been working on identifying the spider species. As for what the picket fence is, scientists think it could be to protect their babies or trap mites for food. Common Vampires This is one shocking discovery of the Amazon rainforest. While this write-up may appear to be a joke, it is not. The term common vampire refers to bats that prey on the living like their fabled vampire counterparts. These bats are the only mammals known to suck the blood of other living things, making them one of a kind in the animal kingdom. When they go on the hunt, they will most likely feast on the blood of cows, horses, donkeys, or birds. Still, the pathogens discovered on their fangs makes them particularly dangerous. These pathogens are hazardous and can kill humans or animals in days. So, 
While their bites are generally harmless, the bacteria trapped within them is enough to kill a horse, cow, or human. Mangroves growing in water with little to no salinity. While on an expedition in the Amazon River Delta, in April 2022, National Geographic explorers Angelo Bernardino and Thiago Silva spotted something that had never been documented before in deltas anywhere else in the world. They found mangroves growing in water with little to no salinity and overlapping with freshwater forested wetlands, a discovery which left them speechless. If you're wondering why this discovery is so fascinating, well, it's simply because mangroves are hardy trees and shrubs that have adapted to live primarily in saltwater in the changing intertidal zones along marine coasts. And as mentioned previously, they have never been found in water with little or no salinity until this discovery. This fascinating find increases the known area of mangroves in the region by as much as 20% or an additional 70 square miles. According to Angelo, this find will give further insight into the intricacies of mangrove forests and how they're crucial to the nearby communities. Angelo and Tiago also explored 11 mangrove forests in the area and used 3D laser scanning from drones and the ground while doing so. The peanut head bug. Amazon has a history with strange animals waiting to be discovered, and our number two is no different. Known by many names like lanternfly and flying snake, the peanut head bug is a one-of-a-kind insect. If you think the name is strange, wait till you see what it looks like. Its enlarged head looks like the end of a peanut shell. The insect has been the subject of both myth and scientific inquiry since its discovery in 2014. Though there are many misconceptions surrounding this mysterious bug, it is a harmless creature. It comes from the family Fulgaridiae, a group of insects with enlarged foreheads. The peanut bug head can grow to reach about three inches. It's not aggressive, so scientists believe it does the next best thing, pretend like it is, and drive away predators. The tallest tree in the Amazon. Check out the tallest tree in the Amazon jungle, Angelim vermilio, also known by its scientific name, Denisia excelsa measuring a whopping 290 feet tall and 32 feet wide, so pretty much the size of a 25-story building. Can you believe it? It's located in the Aratapuru River Nature Reserve in northern Brazil. The colossal tree was first spotted through satellite images in 2019 as part of a 3D mapping project. But as you can imagine, that wasn't enough for the researchers who traveled 155 miles by boat up rivers with treacherous rapids plus another 12 miles on foot across mountainous jungle terrain to reach the elusive tree. Now that's true devotion. Heck, one member of the expedition was even bitten by a venomous spider along the way. When they finally reached the tree, they were left speechless. They couldn't believe how big it really is. After the initial shock, they set camp around the tree and got to work. They'll now carefully analyze it in an attempt to answer some questions, such as why the region has so many giant trees and how much carbon they store, and of course, how old the tree is. According to initial estimates, the tree is at least 400 to 600 years old. The Rainforest Deforestation From 2001 to 2020, Mato Grosso lost 12.1 mega hectares of tree cover. That's a 21% drop in tree cover since 2000. And this is what you're seeing. This is just a tiny fraction of what deforestation in the Amazon rainforest looks like. The brown patch is the deforested land and right next to it, the lush green parts, still untouched. Unfortunately, an estimated 50,000 species are wiped out of the Amazon rainforest every year when the trees are cut down. In the past, subsistence farming has been a significant cause of deforestation in the Amazon, but recently, cattle ranching has been the main reason. Since the 1970s, large-scale cattle ranching has been blamed for deforestation in Brazil. Carbon emission in the rainforest is highly destructive. If this continues, there will be no forest left at all in as little as 40 years from now. Unfortunately, global warming control might pose a significant challenge if the rainforest is destroyed. Untouched Amazon Tribe You would think that with all the exploration we've done, we know about all the people that live on planet Earth. But that's not the case. The Brazilian government sent helicopters to survey some of the most remote parts of the Amazon and they caught these shocking images. In the first photographs, we can see them in their daily lives and then be shocked to see the metal bird in the sky. On the second tour, the camera caught the men from the tribe, armed with bows and prepared for defense. They were painted in red and black war paint. Women and children presumably ran into the forest to hide. It is fascinating that while we're on our phones in our homes, using modern technology, there are communities in the world thousands of years behind us, or maybe even ahead, finishing the full circle. Mayan Civilization 
For thousands of years, many civilizations called the Amazon home. Unfortunately, many of them are long gone, forever buried in history, with almost nothing to show that they were ever here. Luckily, science is improving, and we're getting new insights into the past. Researchers showed this when they discovered over 60,000 Mayan ruins in the Guatemalan stretch of the Amazon in 2018. It wasn't the first time researchers would study this area. They combed the Elzots for years, slowly picking pieces of the dug-up history with no end in sight. That all changed when they introduced a new LiDAR technology. With this technology, scientists could scan below the surface, and what they saw changed the course of the study entirely. It turns out that what they thought was a small village was a massive Mayan city that more than a million people called home. Although they say it would take several years to analyze results, scientists believe this discovery is the key to learning more about one of the most dominant civilizations. Do you think the Amazon rainforest has more in store for us?